Hi, I'm Valentin Zickner and I would like to show you how easy it is to create a flowable theme. Therefore, I provided a flowable installation for flowable work here, uh, where we have the ability to configure our themes. Now, at, up until this point, I do not have a theme, but I'm now creating a new one. Therefore, you press the plus button and then you need to give the theme a name. I'm calling that YouTube and then I am going to set it directly as my default theme. Therefore, you can press the three dots over here and set as default. Once that is done and you refresh uh, the page, that theme will be loaded by default and you can start changing it and it will automatically adapt. To create your theme, I always use the brandfetch.com website where you can say you would like to create uh, or look up the colors and the logos for a specific brand. Um, I just searched for YouTube and the result is basically that. You have a logo, you have colors, and you have fonts, and you also have some images. So now we are going to use the logo uh, where we basically have the possibility to click on it and then we can press copy, which copies a path to the logo to the clipboard. And we can go ahead and change here the logo URL. Like and enter that and then press save and we will see that this already uh, is replaced with the YouTube logo. We can see the text since it's basically black on black, but we can see the YouTube logo here on the left side and we can start adapting the colors which we have over here to make it look like uh, YouTube. Now um, we have three different colors for YouTube. One is a black, then a white and a red. I'm going to take the white for now to say my base color is going to be white since with that I can now read the YouTube here on the top left. I can then say the item text. Okay, let's make that maybe uh, in the black, which is not the complete black, but uh, basically a dark gray. Uh, the active item we could, for example, make red. So let's use that over here. And then it already looks a little bit better. The action item, let's use the same color over there. And for the submenu, let's use the black, which we have over here for that one as well. We have here a small preview where we also see how a submenu looks like. We see not all colors there are perfectly fine yet. So let's go to advanced to adapt them as well. And in here, we have now a complete list of all different things which we have. So that is basically our submenu and all of those colors are prefixed with submenu, text, text hover, uh, active submenu, active submenu text. So that is basically what you see over here. Submenu text, uh, there I would say, let's use the base color so that is white. And we see directly here how that adapts. We could stick with the gray for now for the hover and the active submenu, let's stick with the white, but the active submenu text, we could make them uh, black again. So with that, we have some colors over there. And now it already looks pretty nice. So let's just save that. And then when we click a little bit around, we see that uh, this actually looks pretty good uh, up until now. So we have basically all the different colors here represented and even the submenus all of that looks good, but you have way more colors, especially here in the advanced, which you can adapt then in case you would like to specify uh, more in detail uh, what else you would like to have. I think until this point, it's a really good start and you can theme within a, just a few minutes, basically your flowable that uh, the first impression is actually quite good. A user can then also go to the settings and select the theme here as well, in case you have multiple themes for the user, where they can now say, okay, they would like to select that, change it. I can't do that as of now, since uh, I have one theme. Now, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, remember to subscribe to our channel and see you next time.